Yes, 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 you listening to 92.9 HD2. And for waking up with Joseph on giving you the business, I have with me today. Crystal Holmes. Uh, and what's the business you're giving us today? So my business and passion, I will say that too, is Beautiful Me TV. Now tell us about Beautiful Me TV. Okay, so Beautiful Me TV is an inspirational talk show. And it's geared for everybody who's seeking inspiration, anything that they want to have to encourage and enlighten people just on different journeys and different paths and testimonies, really, mm -hmm. and other people's stories who have come from different areas of their lives to where they are now and from all different backgrounds. So it's a overall spiritual wellness as well. So the components and the base of the show is to one begin with some kind of devotional, you know, mm -hmm. something to lift spirits, and that's either with myself or even um, guest people that come on, and we will either do a scripture verse or even just like a quote, mm -hmm. and just kind of give that inspirational side. I've this is my third season, so it's been a variety of things that have come from it, too, as well. So mm -hmm. in the first season, I had um, just myself, and we went through the Proverbs 31 woman, the virtuous mm -hmm. woman. So that was the first season. Second season, I was able to do even more scriptures and quotes. And then I also had um, a new segment, so I added that as well, and then going on now i'm still doing the same thing and then i've had somebody you know relationship advice you know different stuff to split it up and closing out always with different guests different artists you know anybody that has a talent and just wants a platform to share that you know whether i've had spoken word and guitarists um a whole praise dance team came mm -hmm. on and singers musicians, rappers, Christian rappers, like it's been it's been great. Like God has really been a blessing to myself and those people and they've been a blessing to me and such as yourself appreciate who always it. comes out and helps me anytime and I appreciate you and I appreciate this opportunity as well. Now I got to ask you, you say the show is like journey based, inspiration. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us a little bit about your journey to bring you here? Okay. So I guess to start off from my own personal experience, well, really, this whole vision came when I graduated college. So this is, what, four years ago. Well, no, not four, three. Let me not add, <laughs> Let me not add that. But three years ago, it really came to me, like, in the middle of the night. And, you know, God can speak to you any time of the hour, and especially, like, the, they say, the midnight hour. So it was real late, and I was stuck. You know, as a, any college graduate trying to figure out, you know, where can I go? You're applying for jobs, trying to, you know, get to that next point. Mm -hmm. And he really told me that, it, like, inspiration was the key. Mm -hmm. You know, I want you to inspire. I want you to enlighten. You know, use your talent. Because I always had situations where people would come to me and ask me for advice or just wanting to get some you know just wanted to talk to somebody and just kind of get uplifted and so when i realized i was that person i was like okay well you know god god has really put this on my heart to not only do it for other people that are in my circle but you know make it open to all people and so that's kind of how the journey got started and really finding the network um that i produced that that was from a church member, you know, I went to orientation at the at the place and I, I was in, like, mm -hmm. I, I was like, okay, this, the finances was provided, you know, for everything, and from there, it's just been able to grow, and he's been able to send people, really, all the time, I'm getting emails and texts and just, you know, people just like, hey, can I please share, yeah. you know, I want to share, and so that's, that's what gets me excited, and that's what keeps me going. Now, what's some of the segments on the show? Okay, so we have, like what, like I said before, we had um, the inspirational part, so it's a devotional mm -hmm. that'll start off the show. And then the second part is the first, you know, first segment of the interview. So mm -hmm. the guest person, like I said, can be either anybody, like I've had people who had nonprofits mm -hmm. um, who have a small business, who just are have have a passion for just what they do, 
and then they just want to share you know their journey like you know just believing in yourself and you know where believing in themselves got them to so I do a, a first part with the interview mm -hmm. and then go into a break with the news segment mm -hmm. and that's where we bring on inspirational news so positivity more so nothing like how you see on the news now where it's mm -hmm. you know you have the hard news which mm -hmm. is you know very hard to kind of grasp at times but everything's very soft you know soft news more so and then then I go back into the interview and then we close out with a guest and so that's the that's kind of like the flow of it. how can somebody how can somebody be a guest on your show oh if you want to be a guest mm -hmm. please please contact me at info mm -hmm. at beautiful me TV dot com and you can also visit on my website www.beautifulmetv.com or on my social media I'm on all platforms Instagram is beautiful me TV mm -hmm. Twitter is beautiful me H O U and then Facebook is beautiful me TV so through any of those platforms anybody can reach out and I'm gonna have you say it again at the end because some okay. people are like me don't catch it right right at the beginning which is fine which is fine <laughs> now I want to go ahead and get into some of the Okay, at the end of the show, I know we fall from the end of the show today, but at mm -hmm. the end of the show, I do a soul food segment. It's like a final thought mm -hmm. to get people through the day. Okay. So, so today, I know I'm going to be putting you on spot. Oh, gosh. <laughs> at the end of at the, the soul food for today going to be coming from you. Okay. It's going to be handed off here. So, so the people already know, I'm going to tell them, so this came from Crystal. Mm -hmm. Crystal from you. Yeah. The spit came came in when I said crystal, <laughs> crystal from beautiful me. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna have you. We gonna talk about that off air. But look, this is what we about to do. I'm about to play another song real quick. I'm gonna play Ty Dolla Sign Stand for, and we gonna be right back. All right. All right. Sounds cool. Good. All right, y'all listening to 92.9 HD2 Waking Up with Joseph, baby. Let's get it. Hello. I'm sorry. I didn't know you was about to talk right then. And no, then. it's okay. <laughs> Hey, we're right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we right back on, on 92.9 HD2. I'm with Crystal, Beautiful Me TV. Now, let's go ahead and get right into it. Can you give them a little recap of Season 1, Season 2, and where we at now with Season 3? Okay, okay. So, Season 1 was mainly, you know, of course, it was the beginning. So, mm -hmm. um, the whole point was really kind of for women. So, it was going through the virtuous woman and the... Proverbs 31 passage and I went through verses 10 through 31 mm. so in the first season I had different different people came on I had like a natural person come on and they kind of shared their natural journey right. and because that's all that's kind of like a trending thing so I wanted to kind of give another insight to that audience and then I had a health and fitness segment where we had we did a juice recipe so mm -hmm. if you want to see that that's on the youtube channel beautiful mm -hmm. me tv you can check that out mm -hmm. and if you're you know for those that are looking for different healthy lifestyles and that's when and from there we also did another fitness we worked out we um had different i guess you could say like different inspirational people who were kind of just sharing their path like i had a children's book author and then i'm going i'm like going through i had someone talk about their nonprofit, hello fear which is coming up you know they do an annual thing but this was like their first time being able to do that so i love and that's another thing is when people come on and this is like their first time you know starting with their project or you know getting it out there and then i'm the platform that mm -hmm. gets to you know that they get to share it on and then I'm able to share it with my audience and just you know bring light to other people because that's the whole goal I'm kind of going off but um, to be able to have something that people can just give out to you know an outlet that can lead them lead others and inspire others because you know it's hard to get on bigger platforms but then it's like with this you know social media and other networks they go on and you know you can get on other different platforms so that was more so the first season just to get back now to second season um i was really excited for second season because it was an opportunity where i could basically i kind of had people already pre-set up so it was like my guests were already in line i had this woman from 
Africa, she contacted me. She's from Zimbabwe, and she was here in the States for a moment, and she has this uh, tea line. And so she reached out to me, and she even took our interview and our show and shared it out there wow. with her, with, you know, with her friends and with her other kids that she works with and mentors with, and her whole, uh, I guess, her whole re perception of me when we talked was that she wanted people to see that there are other people like in America that are doing positive things and that are on a journey and on a path and this is an option, this is an opportunity that you can go, you know, go for other than the what they may see which is like athletics or rapping or, you know, singing because, you know, that can be a path but then there's also other things and so that really touched me and that was like the start of season two and from there I was able to again like I said get a whole praise dance group come on and then I had um, a Christian rapper Justify mm -hmm. came on as well and then a couple people from the station where I used to work at Radio 1 I had J Matt come on and I had JJ she has an IME foundation and that's also, you know, again, a nonprofit that works with young girls in middle school. Mm -hmm. And then I had DJ B. Wright come on, and she's, you know, now in New York. And so it's, it's just amazing because you, you hear from them, and then the stuff that is amazing, like the stuff that we discuss in our interview, because I always ask, you know, where do you want to go, where do you want to be at? And they say it, and then now they're doing it. So, you know, that is inspiring when I backtrack and I'm able to rewatch. Or if you go on and watch any of the shows, it's like, okay, this was a year or two ago. And yeah. it's like, look up that person now. Wow, they said that, you know, back then and now look at where they are. So it's yeah. it's it's been great. And this, this season, I was able to partner with Nzinga. And she also wow. was at Radio 1 as well, Magic, for those... Um, that listened to the station and she did inspirational on there and she we got so well together and I absolutely love her I don't know if she's listening but she is amazing and a beautiful woman and she's helped me with this journey as well and so I have to just tell her thank you because she also shared insight from her book she mm -hmm. has a book out too inspirational nuggets so this you know it's like it's refreshing because right. you all you get something different with any any person that comes on and even through their you know their talents and their right. gifts. Now when will season three end? So season three this year it will end in December. All so right. yes, yeah, so the season is coming to an end, but it's it's gonna be more. Of course, I'm not stopping. Yeah. There's always gonna be more. So when does season, season four start? Season four, I'm praying and hoping to that I'll be able to launch that going into the top of January if right. it's like mid-January more so because mm -hmm. um, I like to everything's pre-point pre-production you know all that stuff so, yeah. now how can people watch the show so people can watch the show um, from the network that I produced at which is Houston Media Source it's a public access station here in Houston mm -hmm. and they have channels Comcast 17 at and verse 99, Suddenly 99, and Phonoscope 76. And then you can always, if you don't have those channels, you can always watch it streaming live mm -hmm. on my site, which is www.beautifulmetv.com. And I have a tab on my website that says Watch Live Now. So mm -hmm. whenever the schedule is set for my show, I always put the dates and times. So that way, whenever you go onto the site, you can watch it exactly at that time at that moment. Right. Um, I had a question. I forgot it just like that. Lord have my <laughs> The new network. How did you get with the work, the network that you with now? Okay. So it's you know like I said, I always have to get credit to God because he's been been great throughout this whole journey. Um, first off, starting last year, I was I ran into another producer that was at Houston Media Source, and we just got into conversation. And they let me know about this station called KDV V fifteen point seven and it's Destiny's TV. Destiny TV and it's Christian programming for um, all the way from like Stafford to I believe it's Huntsville, like out in 
that area in Wharton County. So that they asked, you know, really is just like, can we please, you know, air your shows? And we'd really like to get this out to our audiences. And so that actually happened around my birthday. Wow. So I was, it was like a wonderful birthday gift to be able to have a my show to go on to another network and another platform. So my season aired there and that was just, you know. Season three. That was season two. Okay. Yeah, so season two was able to air on there but now and just recently again around my birthday mm -hmm. and that i'm not even joking about this when i say <laughs> this has been around my birthday but this year i'm now partnered with the urban houston network and so that also came from a colleague of mine who also works at the station julia davis and she i have to give her credit we're going on seven years strong so <laughs> this girl is amazing too as well and just open that opportunity up and I've been able to go there and I do production and commercials and oh gosh and all kinds of content for that network but as well as being able to air my shows as well so it's the journey's been amazing mm -hmm. and I know it's not ending anytime soon there are many I have bigger visions you know for this as well and it's you know, really trusting God, having faith, especially, you know, in things that you can't see. Mm -hmm. And you want to get to a certain point, but it's like, you can, you know, t at times you can be timid, you can be scared, because you're just not sure of, is it worth it? Like, are you, is this what I, I need to be doing? Right. Like, how am I going to get through this? He provides through everything and with everything. And so I always have to encourage people oh. to not give up. Oh, oh we love. gotta go. I, I gotta play applause for that. Oh. That, was, that was too much. <laughs> I had to. I had to. That was that was worded so perfectly. I couldn't mm -hmm. say it better. Mm -hmm. I really couldn't. I was like, Lord, just look at Chris. <laughs> just look at him. But hey, I'm I'm looking at the time. Sadly, mm -hmm. it's almost time. I could cry. Oh, I really could. Don't cry. But can you give out your contact information one more time to mm -hmm. the people? Of course, of course. So, if you want to reach me, you can reach me at info at beautifulmetv.com or visit my website, www.beautifulmetv.com. Social media, Instagram, and Facebook is Beautiful Me TV. Twitter is Beautiful Me H O U. And I have a YouTube channel, which is Beautiful Me TV. And if you want to reach out to me personally, I am on Instagram at Crystal Davis TV. So that is my contact information. Well, thank you so much, Chris. You're it's welcome. It's been a pleasure. Beautiful Me TV, right? Yes, and, exactly. And what time? Watch live on my site, okay. beautifulmetv.com. Bet. Well, hey, man, that was giving you the business. You're waking up with Joseph 92.9 HD2. Let's go ahead and get into some logic. Like, whoa.